Hey everyone, and welcome to a new foraging video. My name is Ashley, and this is my channel Adventures Across. Thanks for being here. This video is all about pheasant back mushrooms, also known as Dryad Saddle. Before we get started, I wanted to give a few disclaimers. When foraging for wild food, make sure to consult an expert about what you are picking. Make sure it is 110% safe to consume because there are toxic plants and mushrooms out there. Also, I am not an expert forager and the advice in this video should be taken as considerations, as pieces of information that can help you. More research should be done in addition to this video. Now let's get started! It is mid-May now in Wisconsin and everything is blooming. I go out to look for mushrooms every day, mostly for the prized morel mushrooms. But when nature doesn't provide them, there are others out in the forest to forage for. That's where the pheasant backs come in. These mushrooms are bracket mushrooms that grow on dead stumps and fallen trees. The name pheasant back describes them quite well. They are light brown with darker brown feathers that speckle the top. Underneath is white, the pores visible. They also have the name Dryad sad Saddle because of folklore. It looks somewhat of a saddle that Dryads, tree nymphs, could sit upon. One of the best ways to identify this mushroom is the smell it gives off when picked. It smells exactly like cucumbers or watermelon rind, a very fresh and relaxing aroma. In the forest I forage in, I found them growing on dead elms and oaks, the trees decaying but not too far gone and mossy. The thing about pheasant backs is they become quite hard and leathery if you pick them too big. If you'd like to take them home to cook, you'll need to find smaller mushrooms to pick. Here are a few examples of the size you could look for. A few tips for picking them. If the pores underneath look open, they are too ripe and won't be good. If the stem is too tough to slice through with your forager's knife, again, it is too ripe. You want to find them when they are the size of a teacup saucer or smaller, though don't pick them when they are the size of your thumb. I like to pick them when they are in between. When foraging for anything, be sure to only take what you plan to use and to bring along a pocket knife. I like to cut the pieces I'm going to use to leave the mushroom mycelium intact. And same goes for plants only cutting what I need and doing the least harm and distress to the plants by cutting with a knife. Wild mushrooms must be cooked to be consumed, and Dryad Saddle is no different. There's a few ways I like to prepare them. Vegan, of course. First is sautéed in vegan butter with some ramps and garlic mustard. They are versatile in Asian-style foods, and to me they resemble shiitake mushrooms. And lastly, I like to make them into bacon. It resembles bacon like you wouldn't believe, if you can prepare it right. Stay tuned for my next video, where I share my vegan pheasant bag bacon recipe. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the recipe. How do you prepare your pheasant back mushrooms? Tell me in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.